Yeah, it's a good one. How you go? How you go sell up? How we go and live? We can't live with that. Farmers of the Rio Claro Food Crop Project have been looking on helplessly for months as their crops are destroyed and their livelihoods diminished. Thousands of dollars we put in out here investing. It's a thief we dealing with. We are dealing with the increase of chemicals. The labor force increase on we, and now we are dealing with bison from the government farm coming to this truck. We have no compensation. We have nothing to get out of this. What are leaving for farmers to do out here? What planting now starting with this hard work? What we bear? We feel in proper order. Farmers and villagers say the buffaloes have been roaming the area, eating their crops and terrorizing them. This area is an area which the government leaves 500 acres of agricultural land for people to do agriculture. And today people getting mash up animal, licking up everything they have. And they're telling you you can't get no compensation. After you spend, after you spend all this amount of money to plow, to plant, pay workers $400 a day. The buffalipsos belong to the government-run Moro Valley Farm. But residents and farmers tell us it is undermanned and under-resourced, and they believe the animals are starving. But hardly have workers. There are three laborers, a foreman, a horseman, a watchman. That is all they have. And nobody here doing nothing about it in the road. The animal on the road is dangerous for children, it's dangerous for people right through. Now, despite a release from the Ministry of Agriculture on April 17th, outlining ways in which they would address the situation, including immediate repairs to the fence, farmers claim nothing has been done. CNC3 News reached out to the Agriculture Ministry again for a comment, but there was no response up to news time. Sasha Wilson, CNC3 News.